Hello everyone, this is Candy, the 614 Stitcher, and today is Sunday, December the 31st, 2023, and this is my Floss Tube episode 107. I would like to say hello and welcome to any and all new subscribers, or if even if you have just been checking me out for a time or two, I hope that you will stick around and allow me to enable you. And to my returning friends, thank you so very much for coming back each and every time that I do upload a video. I have had an excellent Stitchy Week. Um, not too much other activities going on, but I have really gotten in a lot of good stitching. Um, tonight I is, you know, New Year's Eve, and I plan on stitching with some friends um via messenger and so um i'm looking forward to another great year in 2024 um and i hope that you are too so for this episode i have a start whips finishes and what I'll be doing in the first couple of weeks of 2024. So let's get started. Grab you a beverage. I am drinking coffee again tonight. And um, we will jump right into the stitching. So my first, my new start was actually started today. I decided that today is, that because today is one, two, three, one, two, three, that I would have a one, two, three new start. And, and so I picked out Pray Without Ceasing. It's, the name of the chart is Without Ceasing. And it is by... Sweet Ring, Sweet Wing Studio. I love her charts. I I, I decided to um, use the DMC conversion, and here is where I am so far. So I've put in the first flower and pray without. <laughs> I am stitching this on a 16 count diversity by Mystic Fibers. And I have added, so far I have stitched 160 stitches on this, which um, for the, um, I lost my whole. So I'm playing a game called Candyland in a group, in a friend's group. And um, this will get me, I got a yellow card, and so I had to stitch 150 stitches. And so this qualifies now as my Candyland stitches. I thought the fabric, even though, because it's a purpley taupe fabric, with the colors would still pop really well on this. I think the wind has blown my door open. So I might have to pause and go fix that. But that's where I am on that. It was started today, this morning, and I will um, continue to work on it throughout tonight and see how many stitches I can actually get into it. I do plan on doing a 2024 plans video. Um, and let me just say thank you all so very much for your kind comments and words of encouragement with the retaping of the whip parade. Um, I actually, to be honest with you, I, I actually liked video number two better than I did video number one. So it worked out for the best. You know, I always feel like when things happen, it's for the better. And so I am very pleased that you all enjoyed it so very much. And um, when you, you know, when you, when it's time for the subscribers to pick a 
whip for the whip go, I feel like you all will have a pretty good idea of what um, I have going on. Um, again, when I choose the whip go, when the numbers for the subscribers choice gets called, I will be picking three whips and then you all will vote on which whip will be for my whip go that month. So I'll uh, go into maybe a little bit more detail after one of the numbers for the subscribers gets chosen. Okay, so my next item is my whips. And I so that's one new start. And now I'm going to show you my whips. The first whip that I worked on was... I actually worked on this on Christmas Eve and then again on Christmas Day. And it is Stony Creek Christmas Sentiments. I am... Um, yeah. And here's a picture of where it was when I last showed it. <clears throat> And here is where I got to. So I was able to put in part of the tree. I, this The tree stand was already in. I put in some more snowflakes at the bottom. I need a longer board, I think. I put in the these two, all of this is new. This is part of the first tree. And then I put in the basket for the middle tree. I put in three hundred and ninety five stitches on this between Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. I am stitching this on a twenty eight count. Harvest Moon by Color and Cotton. I am loving this. I actually am doing um, a slight color conversion because I didn't have the call for, um, but it is looking so beautiful. So I you know, have a little bit more ways to go on this tree, a whole lot of ways to go. And then the pot and the next tree over. I love this project, so I'm gonna have to figure out a way to uh, work it into a uh, rotation so that I can um, keep working on it and possibly finish it in 2024, possibly. I have all of my uh, year of whips picked out and unfortunately this one is not on there, so. I will be also uh, doing a 2024 planning video. Did I say that already? Um, it's just with the uh, re-recording. So the day that I re-recorded the whip parade was actually supposed to be the day that I recorded the plans. But I'll get there. You may, you'll get it after the first of the year, but it'll be the plans for the year. So it'll still be good. My next whip is in my Prince project bag or project holder that was made by my friend Devi. And it is a heaven and earth design with the artwork by John Enright. And there is a picture of what it will look like someday. And here's a picture of where it was when I last showed it. And 
and here is where it is now. So this is the complete, what I've done completely. I had to stitch a thousand stitches into this for the um, Candyland game. And so I put in a few stitches over here and then literally brought the side down. I actually put in 1,013 stitches on this. So from here all the way down is brand spanking new. And then this over here, all of this here, and a little bit over here. This is being, uh, Purple Rain is being stitched on an 18 count hand dyed by EJ Ada. And um, I am using the called for anchor flosses that were given to me by my friend, Miss Joy Lisa. So that is where I am. It was so great. Um, in the game Candyland, I received a candy card. And with the candy cards, I, for all the candy cards, I put Purple Rain down. So anytime I get a candy card, I have to stitch a thousand stitches on Purple Rain. And so that's how it ended up me getting a thousand stitches and having to put a thousand stitches in on it. And I was totally excited. It was a little daunting at first, but last night um, I pulled it out and was able to, or last night I pulled out getting the thousand stitches on it so that um, I didn't have to worry about trying to get any more stitches in it on th this morning. But I was so glad when I hit the goal last night. So, okay. And now, so that was two whips. I had one new start, two whips. And now I'm going to show you my finishes. <clears throat> Pardon me. My first finish for this week is Sunday Stitches Amazing Grace, and it is by Heartstring Samplery, and this was my new year new start for 2023, and I got it completely done. I actually finished the stitching on it on, what day was that? on Tuesday, December the 26th. And so I have another finish. I did use the call for colors on this, the call for floss, but the fabric is um, from my stash. I don't know what it was. It is a 16 count Ada. And maybe even a 14 count. Yeah, I think it is a 14 count. But that's where we are with that one. So I finished this one on the 26th. So that was finish number one. And then in the very first whip parade that got deleted, I um, had signified that one of the projects I probably could finish, like it doesn't need to go into 2024. And that was um, Stitch Card Set G. And it was the wreath that I was working on that I was, well, you didn't see it because it didn't show. But anyway. Um, and so this is by Lori Holt, and I finished this with 116, um, let me go back for one second. For Amazing Grace, I put in 650 stitches to bring it to a finish. For this wreath, I put in 116 stitches to bring it to a finish. And this is stitched on a 10 count white Ada. I used four strands of DMC floss. 
and a big eyed needle. I will be stitching these this over again on a smaller count fabric um, because I have the whole set in a, a Christmas set and I'll be um, stitching ornaments for 2024. And so I will be stitching that again. And then my third finish, I actually started yesterday, or no, I'm sorry, I started it on Friday. Um, the Ohio State University was playing in the Cotton Bowl, and from what I understand, they got beat really bad. I don't, I can't watch football games, um, even though I love football. Um, my blood pressure just won't allow it. So I didn't watch the game, but because they were in the Cotton Bowl, I purchased and started Ohio by hindsight and I started it on Friday and finished it this morning I even was able to add the little charms this is stitched on a 28 count color and cotton limited edition and I actually did not use the called for threads. I used um, 413. I used 413 and 304 for my colors because um, Ohio State's colors are crimson and gray. And so that is what I used. So that was finish number three. So I had one, two, and three today or this time. And I was super excited about that. I need to put this in something so it doesn't get dirty. I'm trying to gather up all my little finishes to take with me. Um, when I go... When I go to Stitch Away in two weeks. So that is where I am with all of my whips and finishes and new star. And I have had an amazing stitchy week this week also. I stitched a total of 2,418 stitches this week, which is phenomenal. Um... I'm, you know, that thousand dot, that thousand dollars, I wish. That thousand stitches on Purple Rain is what put that number at 2,000 stitches for sure. Um, so I'm super excited about that and that I am ending 2023 on such a high note with my stitching. And it's been really, it's been an exciting stitching year. Lots of travel, lots of meeting with friends. Um, lots and lots of stitching, um, new experiences. It's been a really great year. So now I'm going to go into my plans for January. Starting tomorrow, I will have a new year, new start. We are doing it, um, a, a friends group that I'm in. Um, we are all starting a hands-on design project. And I chose Beach Please. This was a purchase and a gift from my friend. Well, she purchased it and gifted it to me, my friend Carolyn Zook. Um, and so I will be starting this for 2024. It'll be my new year, new start. And I have picked out nine of the different motifs to stitch. I will be stitching mine like it is shown here in this shadow box, which is on perforated paper. And so it'll be my first time really utilizing per perforated paper. Um, I had white perforated paper. How many times can I say perforated paper? Um, I had white paper. I had this white. Um, and I took a ink, I took a marker pen and colored it in brown so that it looks like the sand. And I will be starting this project tomorrow morning or tomorrow sometime. 
I don't know what time. And I also pulled all of the DMC colors that are called for. So that is Beach Please. It is my new year, new start. And I am hoping that I will have the same effect that I did this year and finish my um, new year, new start before the next new year comes in. Then also starting tomorrow is Magazine Monthly's annual event and it is Bringo. And I love uh, playing both Bringo and ABCingo. Um, so I have set up my board. I am looking for my... Oh, here it is. I'm looking for my calendar so I can show you my board. Uh, um, I have my 2024 calendar. And I have it all set up. Oh, you know what? I haven't printed it yet. Anyway, I will uh, show it when I, on my next video, I'll show the Bringo, the Bringo board. And I need to write myself a note because that's the second time now that I've said I need to print my, my Bringo board. So I need to print it. I'll print it right after this video. There, now I have a note to remind myself because I keep saying to myself, you need to print that, you need to print that. Oh, I did print it. I just looked in the wrong page. Woo! So here's my Bringo board for the month of January. We have 25 squares and then we get five bonus days at the end of the month. The bulk of my board has my Year of Whip projects on there. And so that is what my board looks like. And I also have my WIPCO board in here. And uh, the WIPCO calls for the month of January were our number nine, and for my number nine, I had Black Ribbon Stitch Studios choose Miss Denise, choose my project for the month. And she chose Black Butterfly Sampler. Thank you, Miss Denise. I'll be putting um, 700 stitches into Black Butterfly Sampler. And let me show you where that is now. So here's where um, it is right now. And so I'll be putting 700 stitches into it. And the number 22 square was also called, and that is the husband and wife team, Akio Whips. And they chose <laughs> Sunflower Fairy by Nora Corbett. And here's the starting point for it. So those are my two WIPCO projects for January. <clears throat> Sorry. My, uh, I don't know why when I get on here, most people have itchy noses. I have runny sinus. Like, I don't understand. So those are the beginnings of my plans for um, January. I have to wait. Um, Carolyn will call the first um, prompt tonight for tomorrow morning. And so I, I have to wait until she calls the prompt to know which project I'll be working on for Bringo tomorrow. And that is all of the whippy new the cross-stitch news that I have for you. I do have a few investments 
Um, and so I will share those with you now. My first um, investment is my last Be Stitch Me Fabric of the Month Club. And this is called Blue Moon. And it is simply gorgeous. I mean, just gorgeous. This reminds me right here. You know how um, the frost will hit the window and it doesn't cover like the entire window, but like some of the frost is heavier and lighter and all of that. I actually need to post a picture of this fabric and see if maybe I want to change my mind on the fabric that I'm going to be using for my temperature turtles project. The next um, investment was actually a gift by a friend. My birthday will be on Thursday, January the 4th. And she gifted me, um, it says, we do not eat our allies. We find another snack and it's Taryn. And this is in reference to the fourth wing books. I have read both um, book one and book two. And I'm in love with them. Like I can't wait for book three to come out. Um, I have not mentioned it on this channel, on my channel, but I have been actually doing quite a bit of audiobook listening. I have probably gone through 20 books um, since September. Um, I enjoy fantasy romance. And um, if you have any recommendations, I would appreciate you sending them my way. I, um, because it's on audiobook, I can um, literally listen to it all day long, which is how I end up getting through all the books so fast um, because I can listen to them while I'm working. So if you have any um, recommendations for our audio books with the, uh, in the genre of fantasy romance, please make sure to put them in the comment section below. I would be very interested. I also, um, because I let some things go some fabric clubs go and some other things, I was able to get an Audible subscription. And so I've been reading different books on Audible also. So I'm very, very excited about the reading possibilities. It's really uh, giving me something to do while I'm stitching instead of just sitting here quiet in the quiet. So it's been really, really good. So the last investment that I have is my uh, sew sampler box. And my sew sampler box has been through the ringer. Like it came dented up like this. It came five days late. I don't know where it's been, but it was hanging out, living its best life, I guess. So I'm going to go ahead on and share with you the contents of the box. Um, this month's box theme is whatever that says, because it's in French. And we received a fat eighth. Is that a fat eighth bundle? Yes. We received this fat eighth bundle from Layla Boutique. We received two spools of 50 weight thread from, oh, I guess I could look at this little card and it'll tell me. It's very light and very light teal green cotton thread by Presenica. I have not heard of this thread before, but it must be a thread that they've started selling. So there's that. We also received um, magic pins, and I love magic pins. I have some um, others. The only thing about them are is that they are a thicker pen, so I don't use them very often unless I need to put some whole layers together. 
because they are a thicker pin, which means they leave a larger hole in your fabric. And then we also received um, this uh, foundation paper piece, foundation paper for flying geese, which I am going to be utilizing because um, flying geese are not my favorite block to make. And the last two things we received was this um, two by four. Yes, two and a half by four and a half creative grid ruler. And I love creative grid rulers. Um, they are the only ruler that I use um, in my quilting. And the pattern for the... So there's actually two patterns. They provide you a pattern for with the name Dulles. 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 Dulles, maybe. I'm probably pronouncing that incorrectly. Um and then there is another quilt pattern on the inside of the coupon. So there's another quilt pattern that you can download on the inside of this. And I'm not showing this because it has all kinds of codes for us to be able to purchase other products. So I'm not showing that. And then there is the pressed flowers, which I have really planned on making these this year, but time just gets away from you. So that those are the contents of the... Um, so sampler box. And that concludes my investments portion. So I thank you all so very much. Please, please, please be safe today. Um, have a very Happy New Year. I will be, of course, me and Albert will be sitting at home celebrating. Uh, Albert will be asleep and I'll be bringing in the New Year cross stitching. Um, I'm looking forward to 2024. I'll be, uh, again, having my birthday on Thursday. So I'm looking forward to that. And then I'm looking forward to going um, away for a week to stitch away which is a retreat held here in Ohio at Houston Woods. Um, I look forward to it every year. This is the first year that Miss Barbara is doing it as a year, a uh, year, as a week. Um, and I took the opportunity to take a week off of work and go just lounge and hang out and be around my friends. And so I'm very much looking forward to that. That week, um, I probably will not have a floss tube video, but I'll remind you of that next week when it happens. So we'll just have to see. I hope you all are doing well. Please make sure you continue to get your stitching in, take care of one another, be kind to one another, and I will see you in 2024. Good night, everybody.